doing pretty good. And we're just here to talk about merch and pop pockets and create space and how successful Prime Day was. <laughs> Prime Day and yeah, everything. What do you yeah. think about Prime Day? What do you think about Prime Day? What um, happened? Prime Day wasn't great for me. I um, I don't know if it was because their little like issue that they had on the first day. The first day of Prime Day was pretty good. I had twenty six sales, which is about average for me. That there was nothing that was special or about it. And then the next day, it went down to nineteen sales which is pretty low for me. And then on Wednesday, I had a whopping 11 sales. <laughs> so for me, that's not good. I normally average 30 sales a day. Yeah, so. the sales were really terrible for uh, Prime Day. I have no idea what was wrong. Seems like I sold more on Etsy than I did on merch, so. You know, I think my theory is, and this is just me guessing, there's no proof behind this. I really think, you know, Prime Day is catered towards the people that are paying to have their products advertised. And I feel like Amazon may have pulled all the merch and stuff like that off of the site. And, you know, so that the sales were directed towards the people that were advertising. Well, I remember on that first Prime Day, um, I, nobody could get into their account. It was like showing the dogs, you know? Mine, I didn't have a problem, but I wasn't at my house. So I was checking my account on my phone, just checking sales. And I didn't have a problem logging in. But then when I tried to use my laptop, the, the dog showed up. And I was like, okay, well, that's that. Yeah, and then I, it, I even saw it on the news. I think like CNN or something was saying like all these shutdowns and stuff. I guess they were, I guess people were um, protesting yeah, their the, work. They were protesting. I think it was like the European workers strike or something. But, you know, it's funny. I really um, like I said, I wasn't at home. I was taking my dog to the vet, so I wasn't paying attention to merch that day. But, I, you know, I was hoping I was going to log on and see like 100 sales or something, which did not happen. But I didn't notice until I was scrolling through my Facebook feed. And all my friends that have nothing to do with merch were like, I'm trying to shop on Amazon and it won't work. I mean, just like all of my wow. friends that were trying to shop. For Prime Day, we're like, it won't let me check out. I can't buy anything. I've been waiting on Prime Day forever. And then they weren't able to spend their money. So uh, it wasn't just us that suffered. And that was the only reason I knew. I was like, oh God, what what did they screw up now? <laughs> Here we go, Amazon. <laughs> like I was reading, I guess, that um they sold more like the first hour of Prime than they did last year. And they, I think they just pretty much got overloaded. Yeah. I mean, Amazon tends to be blowing up. Like you keep thinking Amazon couldn't get any bigger, but it's getting bigger all the time. Like they just mm -hmm. added Prime Pantry where you can like order your groceries on Amazon now. Wow. So it's like every time you turn around, I think they just did like Prime Music. Like they're putting their toe in every little puddle they can. And it's great for us but they need to kind of get it together before, um, you know, we've just, we've seen crashes and freezes and being on this side of things, it kind of makes you wonder how they're so big and don't like, don't have somebody that's like setting them up not to fail in those departments. You know? Yeah. Cause they're, I, I think I was listening to uh, Chris Green today and he was talking about print. He was talking with the guys from print tech, and he was talking about how there's so much starting and like they just start stuff and it's just held together barely. You they know, just wing it. They're just winging it. But once it starts taking off, they invest in it. But, you know, I mean, it's such a big company. You would think they're like programmers or whoever. I don't know the right term, but whoever's working on the other side of the computer would be like top of the line. Um, you know, the website could handle anything. And then like every time they have like a big sale or like winter comes around for Christmas, like it falls apart. It might be, we might be getting another freeze again in merch. <laughs> I think there will be. I, I don't think they do the freeze because um, they don't want any more uploads. I think like last year they did it because they had too many products listed and they were just trying to like hide listings. So, it, so people could find what they were looking for. And it's going to be even more this year. So I think so. I'm excited for Q4. It was kind of nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. I had like uh, 
I really regretted not uploading more right before the freeze, but it was kind of nice being able to like just sit back and take a break for a little while, like around the holidays, you didn't feel like you had to be, I mean, you didn't have a choice. There was nothing we could do, Yeah. but I want to make sure like all my slots are full. So then I can be like, okay, I don't have to work. I can just watch it roll in this time of year. That'd be nice. So, all right, you got to upload all those 2000. I know. And I know as soon as I hit 1600, I'm going to tear up to the 4,000. So yeah, then you'll be, you'll, you can do it. Yeah, I can. I mean, gosh, it just it says now I have like 200 uploads a day. And I'm just like, I did do 120 one day. And I was like, my head was pounding from looking at the computer for so long. I need to learn to like break it up, like do half in the morning and half at night. But I feel like every time I plan to do that, come nighttime, I don't do the other half. <laughs> so like I'll find something on Netflix and completely lose focus. You need to do it. I think the most I've done in one day is like 150. And I have 400 listings. So, How many listings do you have live? I have like 2,000. That's a lot. I had a 2,200, but a bunch fell off. So. Yeah, mine went down. I was at last time we talked, I had like over 900. Now I have like 880 because a whole bunch of mine fell off. <laughs> which was kind of frustrating because when they fall off, you think like, oh crap, nobody bought it. Like there was that many things I worked on that nobody bought. <laughs> like, man, I thought I was doing better than that. <laughs> but it is what it is. And then like, I'll give an update. I think last time I said I was editing some prices and stuff and I edited like one or I think one or 200 designs in them. Um, I've been selling, I've sold like some designs that, um, that were, were that have never sold, and I, I dropped the price from nineteen ninety nine to fourteen ninety nine. Oh my gosh, fourteen ninety nine though. What's the royalty on that? Like a dollar sixty, but I'm gonna the ones that I sold, I'm bumping yeah, those back. Bump back up, yeah. Well, I mean, do you think it's because you dropped the price, or do you think it's because you edited the listing? I I don't know. It's I feel like it's because you edited the listing. I don't think uh, I don't think it's because of the price. I mean, I guess it could be, but I've heard a lot of people say like that after they edited, you know, to fix all this uh, new content rules that a bunch of stuff started selling, but all they did was go in and like delete the words that they're not allowed to have anymore. And then they said that they started selling. So I'm wondering if it's just because you edit it in general. Maybe because I'm going to do some more. So maybe the next hundred I'll do. I'll just edit some words and it won't change the price. And then well, well, I know I'm about to edit um, about 150 and I'm not going to change the price on mine. And a bunch of these haven't sold. And I mean, these are some of my first designs. They haven't sold in, since last year. So we'll see if when I edit mine, if I'll generate some sales. If that's the case, I might run through everything and edit it. For sure. I mean, because I won't be changing keywords. I won't be changing the title. I'll only be taking out, which I think it's my second bullet point that says, for a looser fit, order a size <laughs> up. But that was allowed when I did it, I think. Yeah. I hate it taking down, but I sold a bunch of like shirts. I said something about 2017, like graduation. And I'm like, well, I got to delete these. These are yeah. pointless now. But they sold a lot. <laughs> well, I sold... Um, what was it like election shirts or something that was for um it was like after like way after but it said like elect on it and they yeah. still bought it way after the election was over so you never know <laughs> kind of hate to maybe uh put up ones with you know years on it, but people like those too so People really like him because they feel like it's something custom without actually having to wait forever to get something custom. I wish there was like um, like a way that you could just go in on Amazon and like edit it to the next year. You know what I mean? On the mm -hmm. design. I wonder if Amazon will come out with their own like designer to design in. Well, now that you say that, um, I was watching that video with Chris Green. And what it had to do was um, this company is called Print Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Print Tech, I think. And what it is, is they do custom products that you can do through your like Amazon uh, account, like as Amazon Seller Central. And so you can put a shirt on there and um, like, and then you could say, right, custom underneath it. 
and then that customer can get it customized through Amazon. So they can like kind of type in a box. Like if it said like your mm -hmm. name here, they could type in their name. Oh my God, that would be awesome. Maybe they'll give that to merch. I doubt it. But well, maybe. it's through, well, yeah, yeah. But it's really, it's print on demand still though. And it's going through Amazon. It's just this, it's like a uh, print full with Etsy. Yeah. Okay, but so it's like an integration, I see. Mm -hmm. And actually, you know, and they even integrate with Shopify and Etsy, so. So you can just do it on all platforms. That'd yeah. be really cool on Etsy because people go to Etsy looking for custom things. I actually signed up today for the print tech Etsy because um, I saw that I just looked through like 80 of their products and they have like tons of stuff that I want to like upload. Yeah. And so um, I'm trying out like an LED light. Like you could, and it's like etched into like a, a screen, you know, so. Wait, on a shirt, an LED light on a shirt? LED like on a, no, like a, like a glass, oh. like a light. I was like, oh, we should have light up shirts. That would be awesome. Oh, that would be cool. No, they have like glasses, wine glasses that can be etched, like glass I've etched. I've seen those. And then it has like a light at the bottom and it lights it up. Mm -hmm. and it, yeah. I think I, um, I think I actually have one of those somewhere that somebody got us for like our wedding or something. There's tons of product. There's like 80 products on there. So, yeah. And that's what I liked about the Printful. What is it? Printful Etsy? Yeah, Printful. They had like so many options of things you could do. But I feel like most of them were things that people would never buy, like a giant pillow for $80 or something. Like, I feel like the prices were a little steep on some of the stuff. Yeah. The one thing I really wanted to get into, and I'm still considering it, was the leggings. Oh yeah, there you go. Think about like Lula Row and that what like there's these companies that sell like forty dollar leggings and people go crazy over them. So I want to get into like, but that's something I'd have to sell on Etsy, um, you know, through the Printful. But they're expensive. Do. Yeah. Be good you, royalty. You should try it out. I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna try that next. I want to make sure I get most of my slots filled in merch before they shut it down what when did they shut it down last year like every year they've shut it down like in december like the first of december okay i'm i have a theory and i hope i'm wrong i feel like it's gonna get shut down in november this year oh my gosh i really do so i just to be on the safe side i'm shooting to pop you know everything that i want done by november that's possible yeah like three, three and a half months yeah i mean i feel like i got plenty of time i mean my main goal is to fill up my 2000 tier Obviously, when I hit 4,000 and have those extra slots, I'll try and fill them up. But if I go into Q4 with over 2,000 listings, I'll be happy. I feel like I worked hard enough for the year. <laughs> just uh, stop watching Netflix. I know. I got to turn off the Netflix. And I just installed a TV at my desk, too, <laughs> behind the computer on the wall. And so now I can work and watch Netflix at the same time. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't think my husband was too happy about it because there's it kind of looks bad. There's a TV behind me and then there's a TV here. <laughs> but I figured if I could watch my Netflix and work, I might be more productive. There you go. You know what I mean? Like it makes me not like dread coming over here. Like, oh, uh, like I have to 100%. Like this way I can kind of do a couple things at once and don't lose focus. I think I have ADD and I lose focus. After, Just like, take your laptop and sit on the couch. No. Yeah, I, well, you've seen my dogs running around. I have like giant dogs. One step on my laptop and it'd be destroyed. So <laughs> I try not to move it too much. I am glad with merch that I uh, invested in a really good computer because um, I noticed I have a, a smaller computer that I travel with and I noticed it takes me a lot longer to upload using that other computer. Yeah. You know, it's just slower for merch. And then I invested in, um, I guess it's, my husband got it for me. It's like a gaming computer. It's called an Alienware. Yeah. And this, I mean, this thing, it literally starts up in two seconds. And I, like I was telling you earlier, using the Merch Lister Pro, I can literally upload like five listings a minute. Wow. Because my browsers are going so fast. So if, yeah. you know, if you're thinking about whether or not to invest on in getting like some, you know, software or a newer computer that it's definitely, definitely going to make a big difference in your productivity. Cause you're not going to be so frustrated waiting on pages to load and things like that. What do you think um, is the new trend for pop sockets now? 
the new trend, like what's going to sell. I don't know. I feel like since I've been buying pop sockets, I feel like I've always kind of bought the same thing. So like, I don't feel like the trends change that much in pop sockets. I feel like if you hit a niche that's selling, just keep uploading into it until you cannot think of anything else to put on a pop socket. Because I mean, I know there's a lot out there, but I got to think about like my pop sockets. Like I said, I probably have about 350 live. I want to say I've sold at least 150 to 200 different designs. Wow. That's pretty good. So those will stay up forever. It's not like t-shirts where like I'll hit one and that one will keep selling over and over. Pop sockets seem to just have like sporadic random sales all over the place. Cause there's so many options. Yeah. I think, um, you know, the biggest thing, um, what was it? The y'all were talking about the other day, the galaxy pop sockets. Um, those things have been popular for years <clears throat> with the galaxy on them. And I, I definitely, yeah. I uploaded some, um, I didn't see like a huge success, but I think I sold a couple of them. I uploaded like 10 galaxy ones to see what would happen in a, to see if you could sell in a really saturated niche and they sold. So, I mean, if you, I think with t-shirts, we look at that like little number at the top when you're doing your research, like, Oh, if there's over 2000 sh shirts that don't, you know what I mean? Don't even try to get in that niche. I feel like with pop sockets, just go for it. If you see something that you think will do well and it's popular, just make a good variation on it. And I, I feel like it'll sell. Um, a good idea for that. I think I mentioned it yesterday, but in the merch university, but um, I saw this boutique on somebody posted just from a regular Facebook. And I just happened to look at it because it's local. And mm -hmm. um, like, just, I was getting ideas just from like the dresses those girls are wearing because they had certain patterns on them. I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, I could put these on a pop socket. Yeah, you got to go for the girly stuff, in my opinion. I mean, and I feel like, yeah, there are a lot of people that search pop sockets for men or boys or whatever. But what they ultimately end up buying is a plain black pop socket. I mean, it's just the, every guy that I know that has a pop socket has a plain black pop socket. Oh my gosh. And that's it. So I feel like that niche, I mean, unless you come up with something very clever, I mean, cause we can't use teams or something. I mean, if we could use teams, I mean, it would be a home run, but we can't. So I feel like you always want to market to the demographic that's buying the most. And I feel like with all shopping, women seem to, to um, really shop a little extra, a little more than men. So and that's what I think I told you to ask your wife, you know, have your wife go on Amazon and pick out like 10 pop sockets that she thinks that she would want. And I would just run with that because I mean, that's probably the best. If you're a guy, I'm sure it's hard to think of like these girly things to put on a pop socket, you know, get your sister or your wife or even your mom. Or if you've got a teenage daughter, that's got to be a gold mine. I know. I'm waiting for um, Rachel's guy to pop sockets. <laughs> I need to do that. I feel like everybody thinks that I have some secret formula or like I've, you know, I've figured it all out. But, you know, honestly, I it's think the, it's the mind of the girl. I think it's just being a girl and the fact that I've probably bought 20 pop sockets in my lifetime. So I, I started out knowing like, Oh, well I used to have a pop socket like this that I really liked. I'll just make some of those. When I started doing pop sockets, I really didn't do any research. Like I was just like, Oh, this would be pretty and put it on a pop socket and it started selling. But now I'm out of ideas. I'm running <laughs> low. So now I'm having to go back to doing research. I'm running really low on ideas. <laughs> You got to make more of what you're selling. There you go. Yeah. And I, that's what I did. But even then I was like, all right, I think I've tapped this niche out. If somebody's going to buy it, it's probably going to be one of mine. What do you do? You said you've got like, think about like t-shirts, you've got like 2000 listings plus. Do you don't ever feel like, oh my God, I've made every shirt. Like I couldn't possibly think of another niche. I do. I do all the time. Yeah. I feel like that. And I feel like that's when you need to like take a couple days and like go get away from behind the computer 
and like go out into the real world and like, you know, wait till you see somebody. So like go out to a bar, have a few drinks, you know, get the creative juices flowing, watch people and what they're wearing and look out for it. I need to go to like a huge mall or something. Cause there's no like huge mall near me. So yeah, uh, we have a really big mall here or I, I'd call it big in Myrtle beach. There's one. This is about 20 minutes from my house. And to be honest, there's, I, I cannot go there. The amount of like crowds and tourism in Myrtle beach, it's just like, <laughs> it's rough. I mean, you're gonna have to walk a mile just to walk from the parking lot into the mall. Well, you can see what all the little girls are wearing. Yeah, I need to find, I, <laughs> I, I keep thinking, I've gotta have like friends with kids, but I'm starting to think that I don't because I find somebody who has like a teenage girl or a teenage boy or, you know, even like a preteen and like, that's who I need to pick, like pick their brain and be like, okay, what, what is trendy right now? I don't know what's trendy anymore. I'll have to ask my niece. She's like in um, high school or she's yeah. going to be in high school. So. so she'll know all the new trends. It's like, we, we find out the trends after they start selling, but those trends always get started in like high school with kids or whatever and then they share it and then we all start making it. I'd like to know it before everybody else has already tapped into it. <laughs> I'm trying to find this uh, boutique that I saw yesterday. I'm trying to see, I was getting a lot of ideas off of there. I mean, patterns are really good for um, pop sockets. You know, any patterns that are girly and pretty, I feel like as long as there's something like the one that I showed you the other day, I've got cactus. Well, I had it. I broke it the other day. I had to order my own pop socket, but the little cactus, apparently cactus are a trending thing. Don't know why. It's funny that you say that because this, this is like, I don't know if you can see that, but. I can't see it. There's a glare. Glare. Uh, it's uh, anyways, they're all cactus. Yeah. You can t uh, text it to me and I'll look at it though. Okay. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I mean, cactus is trendy. And what was it before? Avocados. Oh, avocados. Yeah. Avocados were so trendy. And um, y you know what I mean? I don't know if they'll sell on a pop socket or not. But I know people are really into a healthy lifestyle now. It's, you know what I mean? Everybody's keto or vegan or gluten free or wh whatever all those fancy things are. So, you know, food seems to do well. People like food. Which I haven't sold. I haven't designed any food based one. So, you know, I don't know if that would work or not. But I mean, everything you look at could be put on a pop socket. Did you see them? I sent them to you. Oh, wow. Those are shoes. See, those are on shoes. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I need those shoes. <laughs> I need to go get these shoes. <laughs> Joe, see, go order me these shoes real quick. Yeah. So, if they're on shoes, you can put them up. And they're like mm -hmm. kind of like pop sockets, you know. So. Yeah, I mean, the cactus is a big thing. Because so, I saw, I mean, I bought it. It was, I bought it straight from Pop Socket on Amazon, but from Pop Socket brand before we had Pop Sockets. And I don't even like cactus. I never even thought about it, but maybe it's like, I'm from Texas, so maybe it, it made me happy or something, but I just saw it and ordered it. And I remember my husband being like, why do you have cactus on your phone? I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> it just looked pretty. I don't know the answer. So I think that's, I don't, I think a lot of people searching for Pop Sockets don't know what they're looking for. Exactly. They're like waiting to see it. So they're going to scroll through. I know when I shop, I'll scroll through 15, 20 pages of pop sockets. It's not like t-shirts where you go through one or two pages and you're like, uh, just pick one. Yeah. Girls have spent a lot of time trying to find the right pop socket. <laughs> All right. I'm looking on uh, the popsockets.com and it says, uh, like a, there's a one like with a palm tree on it, like some palm trees. The sunset and the palm tree. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have that pop socket. There's some with the flowers on it? Mm-hmm. The palm tree one, there's a lot of knockoffs on it now. Like, there's tons of them that look like that. So, I mean, I don't know how well it would do. There's pineapple? Yeah. Pineapples, yeah. Y'all talked about that the other day. Yeah. Sharks. There's the one with the shark. There's, like, a checkered, like, checkered black and white. I feel like... um something like that the checker black and white that might be something that guys would actually put on their phone i don't know do you think you would put do you have a pop socket on your phone no why not i need one 
Yeah, because look, you're holding your phone with your pinky. You're going to get arthritis. <laughs> you're going to get arthritis when you do that. <laughs> saving, uh, uh, saving the hands one pop socket at a time. I think you better show me your pop sockets and I'll choose one. <laughs> my pop socket, this is so sad. My pop socket broke. So. <laughs> oh, how do you take it off? How do you take those pop sockets off? You just peel them off. Um, I usually have my husband do it. He'll stick like a screwdriver under there and just pop it off. It doesn't seem to hurt it. But yeah, I mean, they're supposed to be like, you could take them off and reattach them, but I don't know if that's true. Oh, it says a moon is trending. Yeah, I saw the moon. I put some up that were like moon and um, Mars and things like that. But I guess the eclipse phase has passed because nobody bought them. <laughs> it says daisies, zebra wood, llama corn. Llama corn. What? Where do people come up with these things? Rose, Northern Lights, Nebula. Oh yeah, Nebula. That's, That's kind of like the, the galaxy. galaxy stuff. Yeah. Have you sold any more pop sockets? No. How is that possible? I cannot wrap my head around it. I know. Because you have uh, like a couple hundred up. I have like four hundred up. So you have more up than I do. Yeah. Or around the same. People don't know it, but. Uh, Rachel gave me some pop socket designs. They haven't sold? Not yet. They were adorable. Did you make those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were really cute. <laughs> I was going to buy one of them. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Um, do you hire out designers? I've never used a designer before. I do, but not for pop sockets. I think I can make those. Pop sockets are easy enough, but you do them for shirts. Yeah, for sure. It's I can do. I have hired designer before. So, does it pay for itself normally? I mean, I'm sure it's a lot of people are wondering. Yeah, yeah, it pays for itself. That's good. I mean, I feel like when I first started out, people were saying that you know they were hiring designers and stuff. And when you're in a lower tier, if you're capable, just do it yourself. I had a um the actually like my last 20, 20 designs I sold, my designer made for me, and um. And there actually was a scale design and she scaled it like for four different, four different things anyways. But uh, I said, how much would you scale this out for me? And it was like really cheap. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead and do it. And so. I mean, I imagine are, are designers expensive these days or. They can be. I, I've worked with her for a while. So if I ask for like something special, like, hey, will you scale this? Yeah. She doesn't make it. And she doesn't price it as she would if it was just like an individual shirt. You know? I feel like I'd rather hire somebody to do like the uploading side of things. Cause that's like the part that I dread uploading. I'm just like, <laughs> I'll get all my designs ready and in my folder. And then I'm just like, Oh no, now I have to do like the boring monotonous, like which merch or pro has made it to where I don't dread it as much anymore. Um, or like, I mean, I think there's several different ones out there like that, and I think there's like batch editors and all kinds of programs you can get. I think there's even like, I think you can even use like autofill like that Max have or things like that, that you can like yeah. save profiles. So, I mean, using those things, it definitely sped my process up. They need, merch needs like a drop down menu where just like upload, upload like all your designs. Yes. And then it just like puts them in tabs all in that. It'd be nice. Uh, I'm excited for Q4, but I was meaning to ask you, what do you think they're going to come out with next? Like what other products do you think they're going to give us? Maybe, I don't know. I've been what? racking my brain. The only thing, the only other product I could think of would be like phone cases. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, there's got to be other stuff out there. You know what I mean? Like what about uh, coffee mugs? Maybe mugs. I would think maybe that's probably the next one. Mugs. I wish they would get a deal with Yeti and we could start designing really cool Yetis. Those Yeti tumblers. That would be cool. If it's clothing, I say it, they're going to come out with tank tops, but it's almost winter, so probably not that. Well, they gave us um, long sleeves and hoodies in the beginning of spring, so why not <laughs> give us tank tops in winter? <laughs> so why not? Maybe. That would be cool. I didn't have a lot of success with long sleeve shirts. I saw the hoodie like yesterday. So. What? They must live in Alaska or something. I can't. That's funny you said that because it, 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 it was an Alaska shirt. No. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. They need hoodies all year long. See? Perfect. 
Uh, I'm hoping for like uh, like something different, something not clothing related. Like I've really enjoyed doing pop sockets. Maybe, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Because I feel like it'll start breaking everybody off into like groups when they start doing that. Like the people that are really comfortable with t-shirts are just going to keep designing t-shirts and they're not going to bother with the other stuff. And then the people that are really comfortable with like say pop sockets or something they're going to want to do all the other little things too. What if they did um, the create space stuff, books? <laughs> but they do that. Isn't that through Amazon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, create space is through Amazon, I think. Or Yeah, it is. I assume, yeah. Well, that would, I mean, I don't know. I'm getting a little impatient with create space. <laughs> I really want to sail. I'm being, I'm being a really impatient because I only have like 10 designs up. And I think like like five of them just went up like two days ago. So, but I just want to see a sale. I want to see that like proof of concept there. Yeah, I haven't had a sale either, so I'm still waiting. I I want to. I was thinking about purchasing. I don't know if it's sold out yet. That Kelly Roberts class. Yeah. Is it sold out again, or is it still? No, it hasn't out? sold out yet. I'm thinking about buying that and seeing if that'll like get me excited about doing it because it's a little more work than t-shirts. And it's a lot more work than pop sockets because pop sockets are easy. Yeah, it is definitely very easy. Well, I'm disappointed that Prime Day didn't make us all rich. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, we have Christmas coming up. Yeah. What do you got planned for? Um, yeah, so are you just going to try to upload some more pop sockets or shirts or what do you got next you can do? I think I'm going to focus on pop sockets before Q4. I really, I, I hope I'm not making a mistake, but I feel like I'm almost going to, you know, do like 90% pop sockets. And then maybe when it gets a little closer, you know, do everybody, you know, do your Christmas shirts, like Christmas themed shirts, you know, and things like that. But I, I'm, I don't know. Pop sockets have done so well for me. I just kind of want to, see how it does for Q4. But I mean, I could be wrong. They could, I worry about pop sockets and putting too much into it because it's like, it's such a new thing for Amazon and it's working. It's Amazon working with a third party. So yeah. if they, you know, a pop socket doesn't like what's happening, they can terminate this agreement with Amazon and all this work that we put in could just be gone just like that. So it's scary, but I think I might take a leap of faith for Q4 and just, I want to try and get up like a thousand more pop sockets. I think that's one thing that's really cool is that you said you, before you started making pop sockets or before they even let us that you bought 15 pop, pop sockets. Oh yeah. I mean, so I that's one kind one. of, that's really good. If you, if other people are doing that, then that's awesome. I mean, I would buy one for like every season, every holiday. Like I would get like a Christmas themed one or like a Valentine's Day or 4th of July. Like I bought them every time something changed. So once you take them off, you can always put them back on. Mm -hmm. They're supposedly, I've never, honestly, I've never taken one off and put it back on. <laughs> because, it, you know, it's just like you when you take it off, you buy a new one. And I don't, I don't know. They just kind of get lost in the shuffle. Honestly, the quality of pop sockets, um, you've never had one, but it's kind of like a matte texture on top. And Do you have all your pop sockets with you? No, I forgot. I've thrown them all away. I've no, I don't even keep them. Really? No. You just, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's printed on this matte texture. So once it's been out in the sun for, like, a few weeks, it fades. And oh, it doesn't wow. look good. Like, it, they don't. They don't last very long for me anyway. Like after a month or two, it, you know, it gets all faded from the sun, which maybe it's because I live at the beach and it's really sunny here. Yeah. But after that, it's, you know, and they get dirty. You're touching them all the time. They just kind of get gross. So I just throw them out and buy a new one. I mean, they're inexpensive. You can get them from 10 to $15. And I don't know. I, I, I always replace them. And I feel like everybody I know who has them does the same thing. Every time, like, a, like, all of us bought 4th of July ones and we literally put them on our phones. Like me and all my friends put them on our phones. And then like when 4th of July was over, we took them off and threw them away. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> no, that's good. That's good because that means that people are not just buying one and done. They're buying. No, no you're buying them constantly. I mean, people, we bought them to match our 4th of July outfits. Oh my gosh. That's all it was for. So. Such a girl. <laughs> it was, it's a girl thing. We're very. Um, Girly. You know, don't care throw it all away and buy something the next one it's bad that's crazy it's i'm, I'm probably gonna get like hate for that i'm like oh my god you just throw it away you know but <laughs> like i said here around here with the sun they don't last very long so and i'm outdoors a lot so like my phone cases my pop socket like the little rubber part on them they're always sturdy they always look like crap so nothing lasts long um you know when you're taking your stuff to the beach and um, out on boats and, you know, sweating all day out in the hot sun. It, things don't last very long here. That's probably true. I think that you should buy a pop socket. Have, I mean, did your, your wife probably has one, I assume. She doesn't. Buy your wife a pop socket. <laughs> <laughs> She'll thank you. Trust me. Yeah, because I don't need to be holding it with my pinky no more. Yeah, it's going to hurt. It's life changing. You'll never go back. I've been preaching pop sockets forever. Like that came out of nowhere for me with Amazon. Like I had no, I like it never even crossed my mind that we would ever have pop sockets. Yeah, I know that's crazy. So that's why I keep thinking. I'm like, well, we never would have guessed pop sockets. Like what else are they going to give us? Who else are they working with? Do you use the Amazon template for Photoshop? Is that what you use? No. You have your own, you made your own template for uh, pop sockets. Oh yeah, I have um, like, I just use the dimensions and then um, I put in the circle. You made your own circle? Yeah. Um, I don't like to use, uh, I noticed like on their template, let me see if I have it, on their template, their lines are a little off. Like the inner ring, there's like an inner ring and then an outer ring. The inner ring, if you line like something up perfectly with it, when it goes on the pop socket, there's still a little bit of space. Oh, wow. Between like on the preview. So I kind of like adjusted it, like was just playing around with it, adjusted the circle. I was lining up a colored circle with it and then uploading it onto Amazon and looking. And then once it was just right, then I just saved that as my own template because there's. Do you lot. use the. Or didn't, I thought you. Didn't, do you use your own Photoshop or do you use uh, the Merchant Former Pop Socket? I, um, I use. Uh, mostly to do the pop sockets, the merch informer, um, because a lot of the stuff I do is really simple. If I'm doing something like putting words or something a little more complicated, then I use Photoshop. But for like the simple stuff, like just the, like, say you want to do like a plaid, um, pop socket, I would totally use merch informer. It's not even worth opening up Photoshop for. I mean, they make it really easy on there. I, I definitely um, get my money's worth with Merch Informer these days. What do you make your uh, Create Space covers with? Photoshop. Yeah, and I know you said you were using Canva, right? Did you see that video I put out? Uh-uh. You're missing when, out. When was on it? My, on my videos. Yesterday. Oh, well, it's been this past week. I've barely been home. Like I was telling you, my poor dog's been sick. So I've been at the vet's office like every day dealing with crap so i have like got no work done this week which <laughs> makes me feel guilty so tonight i'm gonna sit down and maybe not turn on netflix <laughs> and like try and bang out 200 designs pop sockets because there's no way i could never do 200 t-shirts in a day that would yeah. take forever i mean that would take all day so i'm gonna think tonight i feel like if i sit down for four or five hours this evening i can do i can bang out 200 all right let's let's do that let's say by uh how about how about by monday or by our next show how many pop sockets do you want to have done by and uh by next friday let's see that's like seven eight days there i'd like to have 600 more Okay, me too. Six hundred. Let's let's see if we can. That I mean, that's a lot, but it's it's completely doable. All right, let's try it. I'll try to do six hundred. You try to do six hundred. Absolutely, I want to do, and then I also want in, in, within the next week. I also want to try and get um, at least twenty more Create Space journals up. All right, there we go. I'm all for that. I'll do that goal with you. 
Because I feel like it's easy <laughs> to push things onto the back burner. And I feel like, you know, when the freeze comes and Q4 comes, we're going to wish that we really like loaded everything up. All right. So next, by next, our next show, 600 pop sockets and 20 create space covers. Now I have to do it because I'm competitive and I don't want to come on and be like, I didn't do it. <laughs> so now I'll definitely do it a hundred percent. And so our listeners, you can jump in on this too. So you want. yeah, definitely do it. Um, yeah. You know, if you're designing, I feel like pop sockets, you can design probably 10 pop sockets in the same time that you design one t-shirt. So it may sound like this ridiculous number, but it's really not. It's, it's very obtainable because I was doing a hundred a day when I first got them and I was probably only spending two or three hours and that was designing and uploading. Wow. So, you know what I mean? Just work efficiently. I like to, like if I'm going to do a hundred in a day, the, my most efficient thing would be pick, you know, three different niches or four different niches and upload 25 of each niche because then, you know, you can use your, um, you know, batch list or whatever your autofill or copy and paste, however you want to do it. And I'll just open up like six tabs on my browser and just go back and forth. So you're not losing the time when the page is loading. I mean, and I just, I might add a couple words to the title. You, you know what I mean? To change it. But for the most part, just like do all of one niche at one time and then switch to the next niche. And it makes it go really fast. I think a lot of people are kind of going in too many directions at one time, which yeah. I used to do. That's a good tip. So people can do that. now. When I first started out, I would make like one shirt in a niche, write up all the bullet points and everything. And then think like, okay, I did one shirt. Now move on to the next niche and try and do like 20 different niches in one day. And it would take hours and hours and hours. And it's just like work on the next niche tomorrow. Just focus on one a day. There we go. Make it easier. Yeah. And it makes it less like frustrating when you, you know, you can think of an idea and you feel like you got everything you can get out of that idea. I like it. All right, guys. So if you're watching, make sure uh, to watch, check us next week to see if we, met our goals we're gonna meet them i know it so you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time bye y'all